Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here. We will be checking out the browsers here on my iPhone 5 with iOS 7 uh, beta 2. You can see here with the voice memo and a new icon in here and a bunch of other stuff that I've been going over in uh, separate videos. And also I've been doing full reviews here comparing the HTC One versus the iPhone 5 with the latest update. But this is going to be a browser video uh, where we'll be checking out the browser a little bit. And there's not that much that I have changed, uh, but there's not that also that many people that did watch my first video with the HTC One uh, versus the iPhone 5 in the browser speed test and comparison look here also when we look at the default uh, browsers. And one thing that's pretty cool here in, in the default browser, uh, at least if you take a look at the both uh, of the UI here, it's very clean, not that messy as Samsung has with their Galaxy S4. Uh, that browser is pretty messy. Uh, and then also you get some pretty cool features uh, instead of the HTC One that I that definitely could be very, very useful. Uh, so if you start off here taking a look at the iPhone 5, here of course with iOS 7 it looks extremely clean here at the top and this was something that I was actually expecting to come out uh, from uh, from a lot of companies you used a very very clean bar at the top where you just type in a website and has a simple little reload button up there that's basically all you need uh, and then also you can see some cool things like when you go down and you can see the UI changes extremely cool that you still see the website and that really gets optimized because sometimes maybe when you scroll down but you will still want to see the website and then also very, very clean at the bottom exactly everything you need to you need want to have like forward and back buttons uh, a sh share button that it contains everything that you possibly would need to or would love to have and then also of course your bookmarks reading list and I'm not sure if you can see the history uh, inside of the Safari browser. Uh, you also have a private mode here if you want to search for porn or something and you don't want to see, let your friends know that you have done that if they spy on your phone when you're drunk and left your phone somewhere maybe. Um, and then also of course the Safari mode here in tabs has this kind of cool cover flow mode uh, which is definitely a step uh, 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 like an upgrade from the previous one and it kind of uh, I, I kind of it reminds about the Google Chrome browser uh, that you can get uh, in Android, uh, which also has kind of this system. The bad thing though with this system is that you have to tap on that little X at the top. With the Google Chrome browser, you can swipe to remove uh, tabs. Maybe you can, no. Oh yes, you can. Okay, that's that's quite good. Uh, let's go to that web, let's go to uh, that page again. And we are on the Verge website. Uh, and also now let's take a look here uh, at the 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 this little phone here, this little bad boy uh, HTC One, of course. Uh, also very very clean UI, uh, but it doesn't make smaller when I go down. But that doesn't really matter it's super much because the HTC One already already is a pretty pretty big device. Uh, but still also very very clean UI, uh, has one bar here and one reload button and then a pretty pretty cool uh, way here to navigate websites that's not super bad but I would actually say that it could be maybe a little bit better there on the iPhone uh, because it has that kind of cool color flow effect but still pretty good and you do have new incognito tab which is basically like private mode uh, on the iPhone uh, so when we go here you can see very very smooth here when we tap on these extremely smooth and nice uh, if you do this on S4, it's not smooth, smooth at all, which is really, really horrible. And then you have one menu key here, and that's the power uh, of the HTC One that has some cool things here that you can have. First, you have a download section there. We can check all your downloads if you do a lot of downloads. But then we have the really cool stuff down here. You, you have enable Flash Player, which is actually you have a built-in Flash Player. Even though uh, Android after uh, like Android 4.2 doesn't support Flash, but they have built-in Flash inside of the browser here. So you can just go to the desktop version of YouTube and just look at YouTube videos and it works perfectly. And of course, it does also works uh, or, or it also works on other uh, websites like porn usually do have Flash players. So if you just want to have the default browser like that, if you want to use the default browser and go and watch videos, you can definitely pull that off and then also what I definitely do enjoy here is the desktop view so uh, it will always try to load uh, the full website uh, and that, that's super good I mean I think I think that's super awesome uh, I don't have that on the iPhone I always have to go down scroll down to the bottom and then go to full site 
Uh, but that may not be a problem, super big problem if you do, uh, if you are an iPhone user, because you have a smaller screen, so maybe you like the mobile version. And if you do like the mobile version, you don't even have to activate this. Uh, and then also we do have the find on page. So if you wanna find a specific text, you can also do that. And you can see this beautiful beautiful uh, keyboard here with the Roboto font. Uh, amazing, awesome, perfectly, no lag whatsoever. Let me go back here. And we also do have the history here, which I'm pretty sure if you can find out uh, th things inside uh, of the uh, the iPhone's Safari browser. Maybe not that super important because you can have the reading list and you also have bookmarks, of course. And then also at the bottom here, we can go into the full uh, settings area and go over all of the good stuff if we would like. And also one cool feature here, of course, in speeds, we really, really shouldn't see that of a great difference. Both are LCD displays, of course. Both are amazing LCD displays. Okay, that did suck. That did suck a little bit in terms of the speeds. Is this a four browser? I'm pretty sure it also did did win over the the S4 in terms of the speeds. It really, really is a snappy little browser that Apple is focusing a lot on bringing out this full speeds here. You can see when we're going back here, just the insane, awesome speeds that it gets uh, versus uh, HTC One. Let's tap on this. One more time, amazing speeds, uh, really, really load stuff up quick, uh, while the uh, the HTC One has to struggle here a little bit. Both are connected to my Wi-Fi network, so really shouldn't be that of a big difference. Uh, so, now also, when, th this is one of the cool features with the, with the HTC One, and this, especially if you like to read text, uh, if you like to read a lot of text, of course, with uh, the S4, uh, the iPhone 5, we do have the reading mode uh, up here. When you tap on it, it will only display like the article text and the pictures. So amazing, amazing little uh, tweak there and looks extremely good and everything's buttery smooth and all. And you can also still see links. Uh, and when we tap on that, we can go back to the normal mode. Uh, you kind of also have that, you have a very, very cool thing. You don't even have to go inside a reading mode on the HTC One because uh, when you just zoom in uh, where you can see a lot of text, it will do something called text reflow. So it will try to reflow the text. Uh, now you can see it kind of sucks here on the verge because they have a little bit of a HTML thing here that follows along, uh, which is a little bit annoying, of course. But most websites doesn't have a weird thing like that. Uh, also, the HTC One, of course, you can also like double tap on the text and it will automatically quickly reflow it. If we try to do the same thing here, uh, it will just, uh, it will tap and it will, of course, I can't read this, so it's pretty hard. But then, of course, we do have the reading mode here uh, on the iPhone uh, and, and that is how you can <laughs> read stuff uh, because that's kind of hard. Uh, on the HTC One, you kind of had to use uh, Reflow, which is amazing, uh, really, really amazing. And then also up here at the top, okay, there we go. We also have a reading mode here inside of the HTC One. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but uh, really, really cool that you have both those things. And I also think that you might be able to turn off ref text reflow. Uh, if you can't, then of course you can use, use the uh, Google Chrome browser and I'm pretty sure it won't do that thing with you. You can also see on the displays here that they are very, very similar because they're both LCD displays. Uh, I'm pretty sure you get a little bit more pixels here on the HTC One, uh, maybe uh, around 400 pixels per inch because it's a 1080p display and it's not, it's not even close to that on the 640,960 resolution display on the iPhone. Uh, but of course the iPhone is smaller, you don't have to have super many PPIs, but 100 more PPI pixels per inch I think. Uh, we see maybe a tiny, tiny difference in reading, uh, but most of the times you won't really, really see a big difference. Um, 
if you want me to do a full display test in some way, maybe with some specific pictures, uh, or if you do know any good way to do a display test, please let me know about that and I will see what I can do, definitely. Uh, so when I take a look at these displays, I'm, I'm having a very, very hard time to decide which one I do uh, think actually has a better uh, color accuracy. It can actually be maybe from the top now when I'm looking, the HTC seems to be having a uh, better uh, uh, color white, uh, almost a little bit yellowish, or not actually yellowish, but if we're gonna really do a hardcore, uh, if I'm really gonna decide, I actually do believe that the HTC One has a little bit of a sharper display here, which seems to be displaying colors a little bit better, uh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit better, uh, so could be kind of good to know. Of course, you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever when you zoom in and out. And also in terms of going up and down, I think it's a little bit more nice with the HTC One because it can go up and down extremely quick while you have to do a lot of swipes uh, on the, the iPhone 5 browser here to go up and down. I find it a little bit annoying. It, of course, it's not a big deal, super big deal because most times usually when you will read, you will go down slow. Uh, but uh, quickly a look here, iOS 7 Beta 2. Uh, on the iPhone and of course Android 4.1 here, uh, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean on the HTC. I'm not sure when the well, when the uh, Android 4.2 Jelly Bean update is going to come for the HTC One, but I'm seriously looking forward to it to see what HTC uh, is working on. It's already well for the Xperia Z and also for Android or for the S4 from from Samsung and uh, coming out now for the Galaxy S3 as well. So hopefully HTC could bring some more toggles inside of here. Uh, to the uh, HTC One or maybe some lock screen widgets because I don't think that they have that right now. If they have, I'm very, very sorry. Uh, but uh, quickly a video here. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.